You're watching Local 33 News at 6 with Amber Smith, meteorologist Danielle Uliano with your Storm Tracker Team forecast, and Morgan Beard with Go Nation. Good evening, I'm Brandon Prince, and thank you for joining us at Local 33 News at 6. Earlier today, a visitation was held in honor of Baton Rouge Metro Councilman Buddy Amoroso, who was killed in a cycling accident last week in St. Francisville. The viewing began at 10.30 this morning and it concluded at 1 p.m. Following the viewing, his family held a great gravesite service for the public to attend. Councilwoman C. Denise Marcel spoke about the viewing and sudden passing of Amoroso. A private funeral service was held this evening at Christ Presbyterian Church. In our crime tracker, one person is dead and two other people are injured after an early morning shooting that happened at the local hookah lounge. BRPD said security officers escorted a group of people out of the hookah lounge on Florida Boulevard after a fight occurred inside. Then police say 40-year-old Derek Johnson pulled out a handgun and attempted to re-enter the lounge. Afterwards, a security guard shot Johnson multiple times and he was later pronounced dead on the scene. Two others were also hit by gunfire and are injured. And Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office needs your help in finding suspects in an early morning shooting that happened in Donisonville. Deputies are looking for these two men here on your screen, 24-year-old 24 Winston Foster and 20-year-old Travis Jones. Authorities say people were standing outside of their home on St. Vincent Street when the suspects drove by a shooting, striking three victims. Those three people were taken to the hospital. Anyone with in information as excuse me, is asked to call the Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office at 225-621-4636. And hundreds of thousands of people are in New Orleans for this year's Essence Festival. But before the concerts, the place to be is the Memorial Convention Center, as thousands of people taking part in seminars, meetings, meeting celebrities, and Enjoying great Louisiana food, the crowds are even bigger this year. 500,000 people are expected from all over the country, bringing nearly $250 million to the city. This festival is just getting underway. For more information on it, just head on over to our website at BRProud.com. And coming up, looking for a quick getaway, but you're not looking to get out of town, then we have just a place for you in this week's edition of Gas Tank Getaway. And Brian Holland will have our Go Nation Sports Report, Local 33 News at 6. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 